Well, 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 what do we have here? <laughs> Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. This is Kellen. <laughs> okay, we're gonna clarify a few things first. Kellen has only ever played Halo 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. and On like OG Xbox. Yeah. yeah, and then you played the first mission of Halo Infinite, which you can check mm -hmm. out on our channel. Kellen's <laughs> only ever played 1 and 2 and the opening mission of Halo Infinite. You've never watched the TV show, you've never watched the movie, you are Four like... Nights of Dawn. Four Nights of Dawn, good job. You've never watched it though. That's gonna be a cool sort of perspective because this TV show is not Cannon. As someone who's not like in the timeline, what benefit does that bring them to do that? I mean, I guess it gives yeah. them more like, like, flexibility, mm. but at the same time, like I'm, I'm trying to imagine myself like in the footsteps of like a long-term fan, right? And I think if I was a long-term fan, I think I'd be upset about it. I go back and forth, you know. Okay. A new timeline creates way more freedom narrative-wise. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go back to these old events, but you can take it in new directions. Also, fans aren't going to be held up on like the nitty-gritty details right. of it's like how inaccurate it is. Out, yeah, because yeah, like they want to go back to the Covenant because the Covenant is so beloved because the Banished is so prominent in Infinite. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. But then like I've already seen Cortana's not blue. Also the Master Chief grew up and was uh, conscripted and then trained with three Spartans, Linda, Fred, and Kelly. And they all make up blue team. Is that canon what you're telling me? Yeah, that's the okay, canon. That's, that's the canon. canon. That starts with like the Fall of Reach novel and then goes into Combat Evolved and Forward. And blue team are all playable in Halo 5. Okay. Wow. This little. Oh, I have so many questions. But blue team are not in this. Now it's silver team. That's why this is called the silver timeline. The silver timeline. Mm. It. I like. I kind of respect mm. it. And this is something we'll just have to go back to once we've watched the trailer. You know what I mean? Like we might decide that this is actually a good thing. Also, there is an arbiter in this trailer. A is new it, arbiter. Is it, is it a new uh, arbiter? It's not Reaper Morami, it's not Felvadum, it's a new arbiter. Should we do one smooth watch through though, or do we want to pause it? Ooh! Do you want to go one watch through all the way? I do. I do. I, I think I that's do. fine. I think I that's do. fine. Crisp in its totality, right? Because mm. I'm imagining music, sound, tonal shifts. Let's see it through. I'm expecting a Let's lot. Let's see it through. It Let's looks see, good. It's two minutes, so okay. we're gonna play the whole thing in, in its entirety. Sure, I'll display it on the screen. Mm -hmm. And let her rip. Okay. <laughs> I have no sound coming through my headphones. <laughs> have you got sound? Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> no. Welcome back, fellas. <laughs> you. You would not believe the struggle that that was to connect two sets of AirPods to the same computer. All right, I don't even want to waste any more time. Let's watch this trailer. I'm, I'm sick. Let's watch the trailer. Okay. AK-47s, interesting. You. Okay. Humanity's best mm. weapon. There we go. Master Chief, huh? Also, uh, it, it's not, he's not gonna sound like Master Chief. Oh, that's the Arbiter. He is lethal, upgradable, and most importantly, <laughs> controllable. Covenant forces appear to be excavating some kind of object. That's the new Master Chief voice. I like his voice. Oh, I like his voice. It's not bad. Hello, Master Chief. I'm Cortana. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad, no. It looks okay. Find the Halo. Win the war. Find the Halo. Win the war. Interesting little Phil <sighs> Collins sign off there at the end. Yeah, that is a bit of Phil. <laughs> I'm gonna watch pretty, it. I'm... Pretty good. You know? Pretty good. Again, coming from someone who doesn't have the background, I am very interested. I'm gonna watch it, and not because you like it, just because that looks good, honestly. Like, it looked good. It looked very good. I'm seeing internal conflict on multiple, I'm seeing external and internal conflict. Yeah. And you love to see that. Well, so you know, the Spartans originally, in the canon, the Spartans were created to crush human rebellion. Not to fight the Covenant. So that's why the girl is kind of like, Maybe. why would you help me? Why would a Spartan Maybe. help me? Maybe. Yeah, it's like terrorists that were called the Insurrection, and they were like fighting against the United Kingdom Space Command. And then randomly the Covenant just appeared, started invading Harvest and like other worlds, and then humanity and the Insurrectionists were like, 
Never mind. We're good. <laughs> Let's just fight the Covenant, you know? For anyone out there who's ever read The Watchmen, mm -hmm. nothing quite unifies the planet like an uh, alien invasion or the threat of imminent doom. You also like see... Maybe we could use an alien invasion right now. Mm -hmm. Aliens are here. Aliens are real. So. <laughs> I don't know if they're here, but, you know... Mathematics wow. would say that they exist in space. So, uh, w <laughs> I I'm going to go through a, f uh, a few of these cells. Is that a uh, hot take? I feel like it's not even a hot take anymore. I feel like we're in a space now to where if someone's like, aliens totally aren't real, there's no way. I'm like, okay, someone doesn't understand mathematics and infinity. <laughs> yeah. like, Somebody doesn't understand how many livable worlds there are out there. Like there's, thousands. There's quite literally infinite possibilities. <laughs> yeah. Tell me there's not. I'm just saying, we're in it's a space true. now, if you're, if you're like... 100% I know for a fact aliens aren't real, and I'm like, okay. Are yeah, you sure though? Are you okay. Sure though? I bet that make you sleep better at night. <laughs> so I'm gonna flick through a few of these cells and talk about what I think is going on here. You can see all these spires. I don't think they're covenant design. I don't think they're foreigner design either. I'm not sure. Maybe they're like a power grid. Look at how they're all Wait a minute. In. The foreigners are the ones who originally created the Halo Wings to wipe out the flood like at the start, right? Yes, absolutely. Nice. Maybe insurrectionists would still be fighting with AK-47s because the technology just did not get there. Like, yeah, you're gonna see just progress without them. That's true. That makes sense. Like very classic, like guerrilla warfare vibes. Mm. You know, I think that might be the motto of today. You know, like, although a lot of this is weird, I think I accept it. I think I accept yeah. it. I accept the terms I like of the that. TV show. I'm happy for you. The Marines look great. Halsey looks phenomenal. This is the woman who created the Spartans. Oh, this is the musical artist, Halsey. What? And we've also got these Spartans. I totally accept that they're young because they were conscripted young. I dig the fact that there's a new team, you know? Like, the Master Chief is the consistent thing, but we're bringing in three new Spartans that are non-canonical. Like, I dig it. I, I'm fine. I'm fine with Linda, Fred, and Kelly not being in this. So they look fresh as heck. Yeah, I really, they look really good. I like we got like definitely like recon vibes on the right here. Mm -hmm. Definitely like Tank Boy in the middle, and then kind of like very like radio. Maybe kind of close like. quarters, honestly. Who knows? You know, the eye in the sky, right? You yeah. Know, who carries a sniper? Like that's yeah. So they all have all some kind of that. like modifications. This kind of looks like EOD at the front. It's clearly a replacement. Left Kelly, middle Fred, right Linda. So two of the trainers of uh, Master Chief are ladies. Yeah. I love that. Two ladies, that's two like dudes. That's dope yeah. energy. Yeah, definitely. And that's from the very, very beginning. I really like that. Good for you, Halo. You know, it's the same kind of stuff. Like, if you were doing a Halo TV show where you introduced the Arbiter... He looks pretty cool. Everyone would immediately be like, well... Uh, well, I won't spoil what happens with the Arbiter in the campaign, but, like, people would be like, okay, this is the direction the Arbiter's gonna go. I like that this is a new Arbiter, and we actually don't know where this is gonna end up, you know? What does the term Arbiter mean that there's multiple of them? So, the Arbiter is a rank granted by the Covenant. Times of huge peril within inside the Covenant religious order. So, anytime there's a huge uprising or a catastrophe, then an Arbiter is knighted, like an elite is given special Arbiter status, and he's sent in to basically die, but like, fulfill the Prophet's wishes, you know? Another Arbiter was forged to crush the Grunt Rebellion. There was a huge Ongoy Rebellion. That's so silly. Jackals are the most annoying of all like your classic characters that you fight. I am... Because you can't get past that shield. It's the shields, dude. It's even yes, worse in Halo Of course Infinite. it's the shields. Yeah, they have bad shields. So annoying. Yeah. Well, the hunters are made up of thousands of worms. I don't you like that. You see them in this trailer. I don't like that. No, you see them in this trailer. I know. The the, the dude gets dragged across By the worms. thing with worms. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. The foreigners are the original people. Who foreigners. Yeah. I thought you said forerunners. Yeah, the forerunners. I didn't say Foreign. the foreigners. <laughs> forerunners. Forerunners. Not foreigners. No, not foreigners. <laughs> I was wondering why. I was like, why are they called the Foreigners? That doesn't no, make sense. The they four were four runners. The four runners. They only created the Halo Rings to stop the flood. And they created a thing called the Mantle of Responsibility, which was a name granted to the one species that could take over from the four humans. Runners. It is humans, yeah. And there's a. He didn't tell me that. I just. Big, there's a big, big brain, brain guy over here. Are there four runners still alive? You'll have to play. The gay? That's a yes. Because <laughs> I was like, I was like, how would they know? Wait till you meet the didact, bro. Be like okay. I was gonna say character. because I was like, how could how could the foreigners <laughs> know that it's Master Chief or say that it's Master Chief unless they know Master Chief exists? Big brain guy. Over here. I could see but a now, future scene like, in Halo where like you know Spartans are walking through a big four in a cave. They come across this big mantle and then there's just like a one one seven on it, and you're like, oh shoot, it was always meant to be. Okay, so one one seven, baby, let's go. <laughs> 
Ma- yeah. Master Chief, baby. Let's let's go. Whoa, you're okay. I want everyone to know. I'm wearing a stocking cap, and I just put Simon's hat on top of it. And you have a big head. Big head, big it brain, is boy. Still loose. Big head, big brain. Also, I like he his felt voice. Free. He felt free. I like his voice. Also, the suit looks fantastic. Yeah, it does. And it's also Jen Taylor, the voice actor, actress for Cortana. That's yeah. like the same voice. That's Cortana. Yeah. You know what? I think it's fine. She's not blue. They could touch that up in After Effects. I don't know what a hunter looks like, but is is that how hunters work? Do they like control worms or are they made of the worms? The hunters are, are made of the worms. Or are they the worms? They are the worms. They're made of hundreds oh. of worms. Wow, okay. Hold that thought. Oh no, totally dude. Yeah, that's a hunter. Missing a lot of pieces, but uh <laughs> I like the idea of incels, like humans that have converted to the Covenant, especially insurrectionists. There's a lot of humans that have converted to the Banished, and they support the Banished war effort. So, like, I kind of respect it. Why? Some people just want to watch the world burn. They do. He brings in a prodigy. Yeah, well, I just really vibe with this whole idea that... I'm learning now that Spartans were used as, like, insurre- like putting down insurrections. Mm or, you know, revolutions, depending on the side you're on. It clearly seems that they're kind of bridging that gap as he like sets himself free and he's seeing things with a little more nuance. Maybe. So, I don't know. Maybe I, he I, breaks free of like I, the spots and control. As I said earlier, I love a story that has the dichotomy of both internal and external conflict. Yeah, I'm yeah. a huge fan yeah. of that. I like layers, baby. Yeah. I need layers. I want it to be a good show so people are interested in it, right? Yeah. But then I also look at it and I'm like, I want my friends or you know, and his fans, mm-hmm. and all of you, to love it and not feel betrayed by the people that dip their fingers into it. It's like, how can you expand the audience? That's the That's whole so story. hard. That's, that's, that's obviously, like, they're sitting in big board meetings going like, how no. can we respect the fans and, like, make new ones? And it's like, we're we've not saying having, anything new, but... Yeah, we've yeah. been having this big discussion about the Book of Boba Fett, right? In the Book of Boba Fett, episode, like, three or four has Power Rangers. Like, you have <laughs> oh. to provide something for all kinds of fans, and there were obviously young fans out there. We thought it was totally misplaced in the Book of Boba Fett. Mm. If it had been in something else, or if it had been led into a bit it's better... just but the it visuals. Felt, it was the visuals for it me. Especially, it, it felt forced on Tatooine of all places that is like water farming. It's like, you know? we're broke and we don't have jobs, but by the way, like we totally just like mod our bodies with droid parts and we have the technology and money to do that. And simultaneously, we all have different colored bikes and right. we all have different like weapons and like So time and a place, time and a place. A lot of Star Wars hot takes. Yeah, exactly. Bad. I guess this is a hot take really. So full circle on this one. I do think that like bringing in some kind of protege is cool. I do think that having like internal conflict within the UNSC is cool. Mm-hmm. I don't want it to just be one side is the bad guy, like the Covenant are the right. mega space Nazis and we just have to defeat them. <laughs> like there should be more than that, right? And I know like we were talking recently is that like Halo- Should you humanize the message? Right, and we yeah. were having that discussion. And so yeah. I think that's really cool that they're clearly trying to humanize him. It clearly looks like he's going to have the discussion of duty and like honor. And, he like, does a lot more what? in Halo 4 and 5. Yeah. Okay, well that's cool yeah. then, yeah. that's cool. That's what uh, in my opinion 343 did very well. Well, find the Halo in the war. Let's find the Halo in the war, Kellen. Let's go. March 24th. It's also simple. Find the Halo. Win the war. This is a very different storyline approach because in Halo Combat Evolved, you are randomly arrive at Halo and you have no idea what it is. But we already know what Halos are. The TV show should already have Halo as a cemented concept and then it's the race to find the Halo. That's really dope. So thank you very much for tuning in today, guys. This was another video with the domain. This was meant to be about an eight minute video turned into 26 plus a uh, Whoa, 26 minutes. That's yeah, great. yeah, you gotta get back to work. But... So thank yes. you for joining me, Kellen. Please do like this video and comment down below if you would like to see more of these. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. And the domain is signing off. Oh.